Okay, in today's video I want to show you a tip pertaining to speakers. This right here is my laptop sound system. What happened, I was having a problem when I was rotating the volume control. I was getting a crackling out of the speakers. Now if you ever have a problem when you go to rotate the volume control and you hear crackling, the simple solution would be to disassemble this potentiometer. In this case, there's a cover on the back. I'm able to pop off. I could spray some electrical contact cleaner in there. Once that's done, then I can rotate the control a whole bunch of times back and forth to clean it, and it should be good. Some potentiometers may be a little more difficult to clean. Over here, you can see there's a tab. There's one in the back too, one there, one here, one there, and one there. You could take a utility knife blade and gently bend back this tab right here. You could do all four. You don't have to do it that much. Do one side a little and the other side until they're sticking up straight. And then you could tip it and pull it right out of the housing. Once it's out of the housing for the potentiometer, you can then take the electrical contact cleaner, clean the contacts, move the wiper back and forth by rotating the knob, and reinstall it. Now the other thing I want to show you is how a speaker is connected. You'll see it as a positive with the red wire and a negative with the black. Now the speaker will work with the wires reversed. The only problem is it's not going to sound as good. The tones may not be as deep, so you want to make sure the positive and negatives are in the right spot. Now there's going to be times where you may have speakers installed inside of a house for a sound system, and the individual that ran the wires did not use color-coded wires. It could be a wire that looks just like this. Both of them clear like that with the insulation. So you don't know which is positive, which is negative. Sometimes when you see a wire like this, one of the wires inside will be a brass color and the other one will have the silver. But I have seen them where both look exactly the same. So this is going to be a very useful tip in the event you have no idea which is positive and which is negative when the wire is coming out of the wall to connect to your sound system. The easy way to do it, you're going to take the wires going to the speaker, you're going to have somebody watch what the cone does on the speaker. This is the cone right here. All right, That pushes in and out. When it's properly connected with the positive in the right position, the cone will push outward. When it's in the wrong position, the cone will go inward. So what you're going to do is just take the battery, connect it to the wires on the speaker, and when you notice that the cone pushes out, wherever the battery positive, right here, is on the wire going to the speaker, that is the positive for the speaker. Let me give you a quick demo. I have a neodymium connected to a AA battery, and there's the positive of the battery. I'm going to take this and connect this to the negative, right here. All right, let me hold that. And I'm going to touch this positive to the positive. And you can see the cone move in and out. There it is. It's outward, back in. Out, in, out, in. Let me put another wire on there and lay it down flat to make it easier to see. All right, I'm going to connect it now, and you'll see it push outward. Now I'm going to disconnect, goes back. So if you touch the two wires and that happened, you know the positive is in the right spot and the negative is in the right spot. Now what I'm going to do is reverse it to show you what it looks like when it's wrong. And as soon as I connect the battery, watch what happens to the speaker. It's pulled in. You're going to know that's wrong. So you're going to want to reverse the two wires when you connect them up to your sound system. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. If you did, please rate this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.